Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. Welcome to another episode on RenewEnergy.com, where we illuminate the world of renewable energy technologies. If you've been following the buzz around green hydrogen, you're likely aware of its potential to revolutionize energy storage and transport. But there's one aspect that often slips under the radar, chemical storage. Why does it matter, and how does it fit into the broader hydrogen economy? In today's episode, we're uncovering the layers of chemical storage methods for green hydrogen, methods that promise safer, more efficient, and often more convenient storage solutions compared to their physical counterparts. From liquid organic hydrogen carriers to metal hydrides, and even ammonia, we're exploring the untapped frontier of hydrogen storage that could play a crucial role in shaping our sustainable future. So, buckle up and stay tuned as we delve deep into the science, advantages, and real-world applications of chemical hydrogen storage methods. Why chemical storage? In the realm of renewable energy, storage is often the unsung hero, and when it comes to hydrogen, this is particularly true. But among storage methods, why are we focusing on chemical storage today? Well, let's look at its importance and advantages. Importance. Safety. One of the primary concerns with hydrogen storage is safety. Chemical storage often involves stable compounds that can mitigate risks associated with leaks or potential explosions. For example, low HCs can store hydrogen in a less reactive form, making it safer for both storage and transport. Energy density. Chemical storage methods can offer superior energy density compared to other storage methods like compression or liquefaction. This means you can store more energy in the same amount of space, making it highly beneficial for applications where storage capacity is a constraint. Advantages. Infrastructure compatibility. One of the key strengths of chemical storage methods like low HCs is that they can often be integrated into existing fuel infrastructures. This makes chemical storage a transitional solution that bridges the gap between traditional and renewable energy systems. Versatility. Chemical storage options often have the added benefit of being useful in other sectors. For instance, ammonia, which can store hydrogen, is also a key player in the agricultural sector. This dual utility makes chemical storage options potentially more economically viable. Long-term viability, chemical storage methods can be more suitable for long-term storage compared to physical methods that might require constant energy input for maintaining pressure or temperature. This makes them ideal for applications like seasonal storage where long-term stability is required. In essence, chemical storage offers a range of benefits that could make it a cornerstone in the hydrogen economy of the future. From safety to energy density and infrastructure compatibility, these methods hold untapped potential that warrants deeper investigation. Liquid Organic Hydrogen Carriers, Low HCs When you hear the term liquid organic hydrogen carriers or low HCs, you might think it sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi novel. But low HCs are very much rooted in today's cutting-edge science, aiming to offer practical solutions for storing hydrogen. Concept and Mechanism the principle behind low HCs is to trap hydrogen molecules within an organic liquid compound. These liquids act like a sponge, absorbing and releasing hydrogen when needed. To load hydrogen into the low HC, you expose it to hydrogen gas under certain pressure and temperature conditions, typically facilitated by a catalyst. When you need to extract the hydrogen, you simply reverse the process by heating the low HC to a specific temperature. Pros. Safety, since hydrogen is stored in a chemical bond within a stable liquid, it mitigates many of the safety concerns associated with gaseous or liquid hydrogen storage. Density, low HCs offer a high volumetric energy density, allowing for more compact storage solutions. Existing infrastructure, the liquid form is similar to conventional fuels, which makes it easier to adapt and integrate into existing transportation and storage infrastructures. Cons. Complexity, the loading and unloading process can be complex and might require additional infrastructure, such as catalysts and temperature control systems. Efficiency loss, each loading and unloading cycle may involve energy losses, making it less efficient than some other storage methods. Cost, high quality catalysts and specialized materials can drive up the cost, at least in the current state of technology. In summary, low HCs present a fascinating avenue for hydrogen storage, offering a blend of safety and energy density. While challenges remain, especially in terms of efficiency and cost, low HCs have the potential to be a game-changer in the world of renewable energy storage. Metal and Chemical Hydrides 
Moving on from the organic realm of low HCs, let's take a look at another potent form of chemical storage, metal and chemical hydrides. While they might not be as well known as other storage methods, they offer a unique set of characteristics that can be highly advantageous. The science behind metal and chemical hydrides. Metal and chemical hydrides involve a chemical reaction where hydrogen atoms are bonded to metal atoms or other compounds. For example, sodium borohydride, NABA4, is a chemical hydride that can carry a significant amount of hydrogen. To release the stored hydrogen, the hydride is typically subjected to heat, causing it to decompose and release hydrogen gas. Use Cases Portable Power Because of their high energy density, metal hydrides are often used in portable power applications, such as in backup generators or remote power supplies. Automotive Applications Chemical hydrides can serve as an onboard storage option for fuel cell vehicles, providing a compact and relatively safe storage medium. Efficiency Trade-offs High storage capacity Metal and chemical hydrides can offer high gravimetric storage capacities, making them efficient in terms of the amount of hydrogen they can store relative to their weight. Thermal management However, releasing hydrogen often requires a significant amount of heat, which could offset some of the efficiency gains. Proper thermal management systems are needed to maximize efficiency. Cost, while they offer excellent storage capabilities, metal and chemical hydrides can be expensive to produce, limiting their widespread adoption at this time. In conclusion, metal and chemical hydrides offer another intriguing path for hydrogen storage, with a unique set of advantages and challenges. Their high energy density makes them suitable for certain niche applications, but thermal and cost considerations mean that there's still work to be done before they can be considered for broader use. Ammonia. Now, let's pivot from hydrides to something you might find in your household cleaner, ammonia. Though commonly known for its use in agriculture and cleaning products, ammonia, NH3, is increasingly gaining attention as a viable medium for storing hydrogen. Ammonia as a hydrogen carrier. Ammonia is composed of one nitrogen atom bonded to three hydrogen atoms. That makes it a convenient storage medium for hydrogen. Through a process called ammonia cracking, the compound can be broken down into its constituents, releasing hydrogen gas. One of the significant advantages of using ammonia as a hydrogen carrier is that it's a well-established chemical with a global production and distribution network, making it easier to integrate into existing systems. Additional Applications Agricultural Sector Ammonia is a vital component of fertilizers, making it a dual-purpose chemical that can serve both the energy and agricultural sectors. Industrial use, aside from agriculture, ammonia is used in various industrial processes, adding another layer of utility. Storage benefits. Liquefaction, ammonia can be easily liquefied under moderate pressure, making it easier to store and transport than gaseous hydrogen. Energy density, though not as energy dense as some other chemical storage methods, ammonia still offers a relatively high energy density, making it a practical choice for many applications. Safety, ammonia is easier to contain than hydrogen, reducing the risks associated with leaks. However, it's worth noting that ammonia itself is a hazardous material and needs to be handled carefully. In summary, ammonia presents an intriguing and practical option for hydrogen storage with additional applications that extend beyond the energy sector. It's a well-understood chemical with established handling practices, making it an interesting candidate as we look toward the future of hydrogen storage. Summary Recap of Chemical Storage Options We've taken a whirlwind tour through the world of chemical storage methods for hydrogen, covering liquid organic hydrogen carriers, low HCs, metal and chemical hydrides, and ammonia. Each comes with its own set of pros and cons, making them suited for different applications. Low HCs provide a safe and dense form of storage, leveraging existing liquid fuel infrastructure. Metal and chemical hydrides offer high energy density and are particularly suited for niche applications requiring compact storage solutions. Ammonia, a well-established chemical that is relatively easy to store and has additional applications beyond energy storage. Potential and limitations. The potential of these chemical storage methods is immense. They offer ways to safely and efficiently store hydrogen, a critical factor in the widespread adoption of hydrogen as a clean energy carrier. However, there are limitations. Efficiency losses, all of these methods involve some energy loss during the hydrogen loading and unloading cycles. Cost, while promising, the current costs of these technologies are often higher than traditional storage methods. Complexity, these methods sometimes require additional infrastructure, like catalysts or temperature control systems, adding layers of complexity to their implementation. 
by understanding the ins and outs of these chemical storage options, we can make informed decisions about how best to integrate hydrogen into our renewable energy future. While there's no one-size-fits-all solution, the diversity of these options offers a flexible toolkit for addressing various storage needs. Closing Remarks Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through the world of chemical storage methods for hydrogen. We've explored a realm that, while often overlooked, holds critical keys to unlocking a more sustainable future. What to expect in future videos? We have a lot more in store for you. From deep dives into renewable energy technologies to reviewing real projects or case studies in the field, we'll continue to explore the most pressing topics in renewable energy today. Expect more videos that both inform and challenge, as we take a closer look at the innovations shaping our world. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Your engagement and curiosity drive us to delve deeper and bring you the most exciting and relevant topics. Thank you for spending your time with us today. Until next time, this is ReneeEnergy.com, signing off. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, stay energized. Thank you for choosing ReneeEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at ReneeEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.